I will show the straps on a 400 D KTU. This is a particular KTU is a Western Electric, but the ITT would also be the same, and I believe the Stromberg Carlson 400 Ds are exact same pin outs as well. However, I always caution, make sure you go to the manufacturer of the card to verify any strapping option because they were not at all necessarily needing to have the same pins for straps um, amongst the different manufacturers. So we have terminal number one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The terminal number eight is what is connected to the ringer or buzzer inside of the telephone set. In this particular case, we have uh, interrupted ringing coming in on option five or terminal five, and it is jumpered to terminal eight. So we got five, six, seven, and eight. So the strap is between five and eight. If we wanted this to be continuous, uninterrupted ringing, you would strap number six to number eight. So here we go, we have number uh, eight, and this is five, so you would move from here to here to have continuous, uninterrupted ringing. If you're controlling some auxiliary equipment, uh, out relays and so forth, you can have the line card strapped so that when it is in the ring up condition, it'll provide a solid ground instead of a 105 volts or 10 volts. And that is terminal number four, which is right here. So you would run a jumper from here down to here. Of course, you have to remove the other jumper before you do that. I caution anybody who's not knowledgeable with basic electricity and control and auxiliary equipment, unless you feel confident in what you're doing, I don't recommend modifying these line cards. The wire spring relays on these line cards do not have the ability for heavy current. So you can operate a single relay or even two relays if they're 24 volt or 48 volt relays as long as you have a power source that's able to connect to one side of the relay and that power support, uh, supply is common ground to the key system power supply, then you can control auxiliary equipment. You could also have it hooked up to, to light a lamp, a 10 volt AC, a 24 volt DC lamp um, during the rain cycle uh, if needed. And of course, there's a timeout circuit on the line card to deal with how long the ringing would last. And that timeout or time delay option is basically a strap between one and two, uh, one and three, or two and three, depending on the option. And I would have to look into the table to determine the length of time. You also can change the lamp from uh, lamp flash, lamp wink by making a modification to terminals 9, 7, or 10. I'd recommend uh, looking in a BSP for 400 type line cards. The particular BSP for that line card is section 518-215-125. The ITT 400 D's and E's uh, use the same chart and has the same timing function. This is a 400G KTU and it has the yellow removable strap so instead of using your 66 tool you can just pull the straps out. The layout is different on this so you definitely need the book and I will show the section in the book but I will not tell you what pins are. The information for changing options on line cards is generally found in the Telephone Collectors International website. If you go to the TCI library, then you can find uh, schematics for telephones and systems. You'll have to search for 400G KTU or 400H KTU 
or at a 400D. Here's the options that's available and there's a chart that tells you what each of the options are. This is a 400H KTU. The last series of 400 KTUs that Western Electric made that was for standard 182 line cards. They did make a 700 series which is reused for American Bell which was the key system that AT&T was selling prior to the breakup of the Bell system. This KTU has the same options that's in the book but you have to again have the book to tell you what option you want. The option that's on it should be the standard factory option. This is an ITT K400E and the terminal board is laid out exactly the same as a Western Electric uh, when it comes to the option on the end of the card. So you can use an ITT document or a Western document for strapping the ITT or the Western. This is an E series card but the ITT D series is the same strapping. They just have an additional relay and different circuitry on it. I also have here an almost electric card. Uh, general trash everywhere is what I refer to GTE as. Uh, the option straps is the same as well. So if you have a uh, document that shows a GTE card, as long as it's the correct document for the correct card, you will be okay. The problem with automatic electric is there's probably no two cards alike and every time they produced a different series who knows what was used for the layouts of the cards. So when you're dealing with automatic electric equipment you really need the document for that specific item. Make no assumptions because you'll find yourself in trouble uh, either damaging equipment or frustrating yourself. This is the option chart for the ITT 400E. However, you can use this for the Western Electric 400D series, probably the Stromberg 400 series, and some of the automatic electric 1400.